In this video, we will discuss dissenting opinions. In a dissenting opinion, a judge explains why he disagrees with the conclusions of a majority of judges. For example, let's say we have David and Peter. David is from New York and Peter is from New Jersey. And we'll say one day David calls Peter in New Jersey. They agree on a contract. Under the contract, Peter must send tomatoes from New Jersey to New York. And David has to pay for the tomatoes. Later, Peter sues David in New Jersey for breaking the contract. The jury in the New Jersey trial court agrees that David breached the contract. David appeals. He argues that the New Jersey court did not have personal jurisdiction over him because he's from New York. Two of the panel members on the appellate court agree with David. They agree that David telephoning Peter in New Jersey does not create jurisdiction in New Jersey. They rule that one telephone call is insufficient contact to create personal jurisdiction over David in New Jersey. But one judge disagrees and writes a dissenting opinion. He explains in his dissent why that one phone call was enough to create jurisdiction. The dissenting opinion explains why the judge disagrees with a majority's conclusions. If you'd like to discuss dissenting opinions or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by the message board and please visit my blog. Also, feel free to submit your comments below and to send me an email.